Hello, welcome back to the Outdoors Station and this the second in the series of videos relating to the 2013 series of rucksacks from Montaigne. We have Chris Jakeman with us who's taken us through the whole range and in this particular video Chris is taking us through the finer points on the Ultra Tour 22. Okay, this is the Montaigne Ultra Tour 22 litre rucksack designed for lightweight backpacking mountain marathon racing, adventure racing, or alpine summit day attempts. Okay, for a lightweight bag for this type of purpose, we need to use a main body lightweight fabric. The lightweight fabric is 100 denier construction throughout the bag. That keeps the weight down to a minimum. The total weight of the bag, we're looking around the half a kilo mark as a, a nice lightweight model. The back system on the bag is a key feature that we feel at Montaigne to, to be an important part. It's the interaction between the pack and the human that's very important. We manufacture lightweight clothing and we need to make sure that the bags aren't going to destroy that clothing. So we have a lightweight low friction back system and also all the way through the shoulder straps is a stretch mesh which is lightweight, conforms to the shaping of the body and therefore we can reduce friction and therefore hopefully reduce damage on the clothing. The main hip belt on the bag is a full long hip fin so you get good stable fitting through that hip fin. That is stretch mesh construction so it conforms and fits as well. On both sides of the hip fin we have quite a large stretch mesh pocket. This is useful for putting in energy gels, sweets, compass, small GPS phones etc that you can put into those. The clip system is a twin strap stabilising, so it's centre pull in. And when you do that up nice and firmly, the mesh will conform and stretch to fit your hip bones and give you a nice stable fit. On the shoulder straps, we have quite a few little bit of additions on the shoulder strap. On the right hand strap, we have a little stretch pocket. This again is good for the racers for popping in energy gels for easy access. But then also you can slot in a mobile phone or a GPS into that as well. On the left hand side shoulder strap, we have two pieces of elastic. This can be useful for putting in your standard sport bottle and that you can actually fix the sport bottle onto the shoulder strap just for an easy access for the people that aren't using a hydration system. The chest strap system is a full elastic, but you can see here the buckle is fully off to the one side. This means that you get no pressure onto the sternum of yourself, so it's not pushing into your rib cage at all. It's a nice lightweight system, easy to use, one-handed, clip-on, release. And that gives you no extra pressure onto your chest area when you're heavy breathing. So that's the main back system area. The main bag itself we've got lots of features running over the main bag. In terms of water capacity, you have the bottle holder on the front of that chest system, but then also we have an internal hydration sleeve with an access through the top section there. But then also you have large side pockets which are made of stretch mesh. These can also hold your sport bottle systems as well. So plenty of places to stash water as required. The main front area is a stretch mesh pocket again as well. This can be very useful for storing anything that's damp or wet, such as a lightweight tarp or a waterproof jacket that might be a bit wet. Just stuff it in and overload. Useful for when you're on the go, just extra stretch. On the sides we have a daisy chain stitching with loop at the bottom and elastic at the top. This can be used for holding ice axes or walking poles. And the daisy chain system can be utilised to add additional overloading. With all of the packs, we give you a piece of bungee cord with draw cord lock on. This can be threaded through, however you desire, through that daisy chain system. And you can use that for an extra overload, whether you're using a foam mat or if it's just to stash a climbing helmet or whatever it need be, it's just an extra overload system as required. Also, it's useful if you're running the bag quite empty you can actually use it to compress the bag down across the front as well. On the sides of the bag we have a V-shaped compression system so we can pull the bag in nice and firm, nice and stable to the lower section of the bag. 
Entrance to the bag was an important feature for us. We decided on using a roll top system, very much like people are used to with dry bag closure systems um, in, in modern lightweight backpacking and outdoor circles. A lot of people use a roll top dry bag. So easy access, large opening inside there, nice and big, easy to get hold of. And closing that one down, all you need to do is just roll it down and if you're overloading the bag, you know, if you can only roll it a couple of times, that's not a problem. You can clip it round the back, it's a handle. You can clip it round the front, it means someone else can grab that handle. But then also you can clip it down on the sides. So if I roll this down fully, we can actually clip on the sides here as well. So even though the capacity states that this is a 22 litre bag, as you can see from there, very quickly, we could run this down at maybe 15 litres perfectly comfortably, but at the same time, you could probably get 30 litres worth of equipment into the bag and still use it. With the two straps on the side, if you've got the bag clipped round normally in the handle formation up the top, you do have these two clips here. Now, the best thing to do is actually utilise those over the top of the bag there and you can have that as an extra load compression or overload on the front. So that's the main features really of our little Ultra Tour 22 rucks. Thanks to Chris at Montaigne for taking the time to go through the finer details of these rucksacks and also to Montaigne themselves of course for releasing them prior to their release uh, in springtime 2013. There's plenty more videos coming and you'll find them over on theoutdoorstation.co.uk where you'll also find over 350 audio podcasts all relating to self-powered travel and the outdoors world for the hiker and backpacker. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and do come back again. Thanks for watching.